Okay, so we're out here working on the orange hydro again. So I finally got it upright. I got all the steering figured out. So you can see it actually turns now. A little tricky to turn it right now because it doesn't have a steering wheel, it just has a players on the steering shaft. So it just has a piece of angle iron welded to this steering box and then basically angle iron for the tie rod. Seems to work pretty good. You can see it kind of under there. Uh, Ford in reverse is hooked up to the actual hydro lever. So all the way forward and then all the way reverse. It doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but definitely usable. Um, so I'm gonna get a bunch of things here done and I will come back when I get some more progress. So I made a little bit of progress to it. I got the seat springs just kind of sitting on there with the bolts in. Uh, dash is painted and installed. Steering wheel is actually on. Uh, the steering shaft was sticking up a ways. I cut it off and then welded the steering wheel on just some little tack welds to hold it on. Fenders are on. Hubs are on and for some reason uh, these hubs were made from the rims that were on that axle right there and for some reason they were a little bit too long so too far this way so a little bit of it had to get cut for it to actually fit which was a little weird so if I would have known that I would have just used that axle instead of this one but oh well um, that's about it I guess the floorboards are on more deck hangers are installed and working or that is unseized it moves you can see the more deck hanger down there is on so yeah I'm gonna get a few more things here done and okay so a ton of progress has been made since the last time I had the camera on I don't even remember what I just did it's been a few days um and the video is already on the server and too hard to get to to rewatch at the moment so anyway got the engine in steering is all hooked up and working it's a little loose but I guess it's kind of whatever seats on rear tires are on um, all the rims are painted um, hubs are on in the back so bolts are just kind of through the hubs like that got the back of the seat painted white hydro release is set to run um, throttle right now I'm still trying to figure that out because turns out these throttle things that I have are throttle uh, brackets and cables are backwards so right now it's idling and then right right there it'd be full so it's kind of dumb so I still got that to figure out of course I got some of the decals put on um, made the decals myself just like I always do I added that on the top instead of the amp gauge because the amp gauge is there and this engine doesn't have a charging system or anything so I have an amp gauge more deck hangers are installed so even though this is a brand new uh, frame and everything it will fit all the original attachments that it's supposed to have I got the front grill here waiting to get a piece of metal made for there and then that's just about ready to go on hoods upstairs I got the rest of my decals that I also custom made right here so those are going once the hood's on and then uh, this will be basically done so I will come back when I get a few more things done so I am outside with it and that can only mean one thing it's finally done it took I don't even know how many months to get it this far the biggest problem was the transmission so since last time I had the camera on I think I still needed to put the hood on decals for the hood uh, the tread that you see on the floorboards there um, belts on it now belt tensioner it has just the an unpainted kind of ugly clutch I just I'm like whatever after a certain point spent so much time on here that I'm just kind of like whatever so doesn't really do a whole lot because um, hydro you don't really need a clutch uh, the hydro release so in, from the factory it's supposed to have a little thing right there that pulls up but since nothing here is factory what you do is you pull this up I can't do it one-handed but you pull this up and you can see right at the bottom right on the end of my finger there's another hole you move this cotter pin from the top to that hole and then that'll allow you to push it around 
Um, it's a little interesting to get to the uh, reservoir area there for the hydraulic fluid for the transmission, but it's it's possible. You just got to take the seat off or pull the cap off and stick something down in there. Throttles backwards, which kind of sucks, but I guess it's whatever. So that's idle and then that's full, but I guess it's whatever. Uh, I made custom decal for the dash. Um, so that one's all actually these side decals I custom made also. So I looked at pictures of them that other people had and I basically copied everything from the original ones to this one here and kind of did the best I could. This one here. So model number is right and there's just no serial number because there is no serial number on this because it's brand new and it's not an original uh, to what it is. So uh, no headlights in the front. I'm like why bother because this engine doesn't have a charging system or anything anyway so I just put the blanked out covers in there that I made with just the hydro track sticker that likes to peel off on there. After I did everything I realized I put Sears hydro track right there and it was kind of dumb because it says Sears here and a hydro track there also so when you're sitting on here you see it twice. It's kind of kind of a, whoops, a whoopsie but whatever. And another thing I did is there's this washer I always put around the off and on switch just to keep it from pulling through the dash. I should have had the off a little bit more towards that way because the one uh, F is cut off a little bit, but I guess whatever. So I'm going to just start it up, go forward and back a little bit on it just to show you guys that it does actually run. And then uh, there'll be some pictures of the build through the from the beginning to where it currently is. So here's that.